guys, welcome to episode four of Coffee and Stitches with Mandy. I hope everybody's had a good month or so since I recorded last. Um, this is a channel of mostly about cross stitch. There is every so often some knitting and other crafts thrown in when I feel like doing them. Um, today is Sunday, November 14th. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, I took the time and actually finished up um, the rest of my village houses that I had um, all stitched up. I have done three, yeah, four since the last time I spoke with you guys. Um, so I finished up, fully finished up my house and they're just a flat fold um, using Bana the Twisted Scissors tutorial. Um, so I've got finished up my house. My friend Tanya's. These were fully finished. Um, the rack building. The church. And then I stitched and finished my friend Brandy's house. This is one of the glitter house by Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, so I changed up all the colors. <laughs> so her favorite colors are purple and black. So she's got a black house with purple trim and a door. So I really like how this one actually turned out. Um, and then I did the Christmas tree lot and I had one of the supervisors for, um, that I work with pick out the house or to shed color here because this is going to be the outside lawn and garden portion of my Lowe's building and then I stitched up. The Lowe's building and we've got the forklift here so as you can see on the coffee table here I have got most of my village set up um, it's staying like that until I get my tree up which will be for another two or three weeks um, and then those will go under that and then the only other one I've got finished is the post office which I finished today um, these are all changed. They're all stitched on, yeah, 18 count, either coffee or tea dyed by me or vintage country mocha so far. Um, the only, the major color change that I did with this was the sign was supposed to be like a dark um, brown, but I wanted it blue like the signs for post office here in the States. So it's got a blue letter carrier the post office and then it's a brick and mortar building so there's that one will get fully finished probably Thanksgiving when I get a bunch or when I set my tree up when I get a bunch more done because um, yeah that's supposed to be actually looks like that so it's a little more plain than I like um, and then so those are my fully finished finishes for the last month. Um, so the next whip that you've got seen um, is my Cozy Cafe. So I finished, this is August block on this one, um, the apple cider. And then I stitched, or this is September's because this is October's. And then I stitched the pumpkin spice latte which was the October lock. So I just have the November and December on this one. And this is also stitched on 18 count, Fiberlicious, once in Bloomin, using most of the call for. Um, I have switched up like variegated for like the scallops here, the word 
pumpkin spice is actually stitched in pumpkin spice latte floss from Fiberlicious and then the outside border color here is another Fiberlicious. So that's going away until probably January. I'm not in the mood to actually stitch on anything but Christmas. Um, one of the floss tubers that I actually watch, um, Evelyn Across the Pond, is doing a, we need a little Xmas saw. So I am joining in with her. So I am stitching nothing but, mostly Christmas, between now and Christmas, because that's what my stitchy bug wants to do. It wants to stitch build these buildings. So that's what I'm working on. So the next one I'm working on is um, what's called My House in the Hometown Holiday Series by Little House Needleworks, which is going to be my friend Jess's house. Um, her birthday is tomorrow, so I am I'm starting this today because I finished the post office earlier. So I've got the snow around the door and the snow on top of the fence here. Um, so I will, I have to take a little, actually, I'm, I am stitching, instead of stitching the house red, it is going to be like a light blue. Um, I keep track of all my color changes for these on like a checklist with the symbols. Um, this is just a happy planner rings and a printable cover that I printed off. This is Joy. This is why I keep all the village pieces in right now. Um, I need to get laminating sheets so I can laminate the front cover of this. But like all my pattern, my working copy of the patterns are in here. Um, and then my color conversions all that. Um, so when Evelyn came out with um, We Need a Little Christmas Owl, I took and put up which a poll on my Instagram stories that had two of the buildings um, against each other. So I let people pick which half of the ones I'm going to pick or I'm going to stitch between now and probably December 30, the end of December. We'll go, we'll figure it out from there. So what one was, and then I put every, all of them into a tiny decisions wheel. Um, and spin the wheel every time, um, the other day and pick the order that things are getting stitched in. I am, uh, uh, I'm stitching my friend Jess's house and then my friend Amanda's house on their starting those close to their birthdays. So those were automatic put in. And I'm just drinking cranberry juice tonight. It's like 8.30 and I've got to work tomorrow so I don't feel like drinking coffee right now. Plus I've had way too much today. Um, so... The next one after I finish Jess's house is going to be Main Street Station. And then I've got my friend Michael's house. Oh, this is Grandpa's truck pickup. This is going to be my friend Michael's house. Um, he's getting a blue pickup. And then I think his house is like a light tan. Because I told him I wasn't stitching another white house. He had to pick a color. <laughs> um, I've got the quilt shop which is actually changing to craft shop, craft store, because another pattern in this that I stitched a while ago um, was the needlework shop, which I turned into my friend um, Christie's dye studio. So I don't have a needle needlework shop per se, so I am stitching the quilt shop as a craft shop because you got to have a sh craft shop. And speaking of Christy, and then I've got her house, the pet store, 
This will be my friend Amanda's house, and this is actually going a tealy, a teal variegated color. The sweet shop. Skates and shed, sleds. And the ice creamery. Those are the ones I'm going to try to get done by the end of um, December by mid-December because I want those done under the tree because um, all of them all everything that for this pattern I've got my floss um, my sparklies um, inside my gnome bag um, along with fabric and patterns they all live in this bag because it fits everything and it's one that I made myself um, I've also made my friend Sarah uh, she has a floss tube channel she is tea and stitches and then my friend um, rainy day reads a bag with this um, similar fabric because each of us have a different outside fabric the same inside fabric like Sarah's oh I can't find a piece. Sarah's has beavers on it. Rainy's. You see like beavers. Sarah's has that. Um, I'm looking for my notions pouch. And then Rainy's has the gnomes with the um, reindeer. There's a bear or something. Bear. And then the beaver. So we each had different fabrics. And then I sent them off to that for Christmas gifts. And then mine coffee one just lives in another coffee bag that I made myself. Um, let's put everything away. Um, so the only thing else that I've got is I've got a bunch of haul. Um, or some haul, not a bunch. First off is I've got two spools of baker's twine decorative that I'm actually going to put around the outside edge to hide the gap here. I'm not in love with how I hot glued some of them together. Um, so those will get fixed once my new hot glue gun comes in, comes in because I broke my other one. Um, I got some flosses in from Fiberlicious um, to do the Ink Circles Reflections of Amsterdam. I'm doing it on 20, no, 16 count. So I think, yeah, it's this one that I'm using because I bought two different blues. Um, these are her silks. They're 40 single strands. 400 in, or 48 meters. Um, this one is Victoria, Victoria Blue. And then I bought Royal Blue. Because I was trying to figure out which color was closest to Delft Blue um, for that one. And then I bought, got her Remember Fall set, which has. Um, five threads in it. I'm using this for Liz Matthews Quaker pumpkins. So I've got pumpkin pie and these are 10 yards of cotton. Falling leaves, which is a lovely variegated uh, rustic fall which just has a hint of like a brown with like a reddish hue to it a dance of autumn which is a lovely red and autumn mosaic so my plan 
is for the Quaker pumpkins is to do each one of the pumpkins and then I'm gonna find a gold color that I'd like to go with these. So I can do the pumpkins and then this will do the stems. Uh, from there, um, I've got an, um, I got an order in from stitchery.com I think is where I got this. Uh, it is a fat quarter of fiber, or fiber, yeah, Citri Express Fabric Flare. And this is the White Wash Board 18 count. I'm going to think what I'm gonna stitch on this is actually my Country Cottage Sampler Sampler of the month. So this is the December one. Um, so it's got a cute little Santa and Mrs. Claus and then the house. And these are like, uh, do, 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 do I have the stitch count? Not where I can read. Yeah, they're only 45 by 125. So they're tight, they're, so I think I can get all of them on here so it looks like it's stitched on a board or that's the plan um, my plan once I get closer actually my Christmas Eve start is going to be January's um, sampler just came up with that one so I'm gonna stitch that on here um, I've got all the thread called for threads and stuff for this so there's that also um, I ordered these from Annabella's on Etsy and I got Lindy stitches saltwater scrapbook part two because I want to stitch the seagulls here I'll probably end up stitching a couple of actually probably I need to I need to get the blue flower version of these too because I have a feeling I'm going to stitch some of these for my nieces and nephews um, next year because the whole set is this so yeah I might need it because I need, need the mermaid square and the squirrels So there's that. Um, and then I bought the new Lindy Stitches um, Polar Bear Abode. This one is actually getting stitched and I'm not doing the outside border, but I'm figuring this be a playground for my village. So kids will climb on the, play, the, the polar bear and can go in his home. Cause you need because the polar bear is too cute. So that's my plan for this. This is going to be a January um, stitch along with my friend um, Sarah and Rainy. And then, uh, um, do, 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 do. I'm gonna find this. Um, Rainy had gifted me a Etsy gift card and how did I end up on this? Oh, I was watching Pam and Steph from Just Keep Stitching and they were, I had to go check out Twin Peak Primitive and I found this. So it is a um, Dutch windmill. So I'm stitching just the top piece, but I'm going to do it on 20 count instead of the 18. So it shrinks it up just a little bit. So it's not too much bigger than these guys and then this is gonna be where my friend Link um, Rainy lives because that's who gifted me this more or less gifted me this pattern um, and then I bought when mama which cross stitch was having her sale I bought the barn party because that is adorable 
uh, and I love farm animals. I'm from Vermont, so farm farming and all that is big here. So that is um, what I I picked up that one because that that is too adorable. And then I picked up Ink Circles Hot Cocoa because this just screams me. I have I've got the threads on order but I don't think I'm going to stitch it on pink fabric. I have to see what in my stash I've got that will um, work for this because and you can actually switch out two of the cinnamon sticks here for bottles of snuff. So I don't know yet. I love the coffee how the coffee cups look. I'm not a big fan of Mexican hot cocoa because you've got the chilies because I can't do anything spicy, but I really like hot cocoa um, or even mochas most of the year. And then the last thing I have um, to show you guys is I signed up for the Fangirl Fibers Needle Minder of the Month, which is Disney movie themed. So for October, the inspiration was Tangled. So she sends you this um, inspiration card. And then the needle minder is Flynn and Rapunzel in the boat. What I really like is the back side of this is a button that has fangirl, fangirl fibers on it. Um, and it's actually nice wood burned. I've got some of her stitch markers. And really enjoy them with the Disney princesses. So there's this one. Um, and then, okay, into plans. My plan for the rest of this month is to keep on stitching my village pieces. Um, starting December 1st, I'm probably going to do, um, Vlogmas because I've got the Fangirl Fivers Christmas, or Holidays at Magic Kingdom Advent Box. And then I've got the David's Tea Advent Box. So I'm going to film just quick little videos um, each morning before I go to work. Hopefully. <laughs> Depends on my schedule. Um, if it's before work, it might be at work. Who knows? But um, opening each of the gifts and um, the tea, I will open the tea and then let you know what I thought of the day before because a lot of the ones in the Davids I haven't done the Davids advent box for the last couple years um, so I decided to do it again this year and then I will share you show you the progress of my um, village pieces each day um, for the first 25 days of Christmas or for 25 days of December Um, that's the plan right now. It might change between now and then, but, um, that is, I think it, I'm going to go actually clean up this mess that I have here now and actually take care of some of these patterns, put them into bags where they belong with the flosses. Um, so I don't lose, um, pieces cause all these are going to get started probably next year, um, that I've showed you, uh, just because I'm having so much fun stitching these village pieces. I mean, I started this one, I think Sunday night, no, Tuesday, because I was off Monday, Tuesday, and just finished it this afternoon because I just was not feeling stitching much last night. Um, so I didn't get finished 
um, but like this is like an hour or two, actually maybe two now um, of stitching. So I want to at least get this snow finished before I go to bed. Because uh, I found with these it's easier to stitch the snow and then I can count off um, or stitch the white on the bottom. The last thing I do, <laughs> I don't know why, but it is like stitching the snowflakes in. Those are, that's the last thing I do. Um, I backstitch, um, depending on the color as I go, I will, I color complete for the most part. So, um, actually really liked how the brick and mortar looks on this building. <laughs> um, so yeah. So yeah, that's my plans. Um, I hope everybody has a good, um, rest of November. Have a happy Thanksgiving if you're in the States. If you're not, have a happy no November. I will see you again in December. Bye.